Good evening. I'm Christy Castellano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. A tense day in Onondaga County Court today. The killer of Syracuse's youngest gun violence victim coming face to face with the parents of the baby. Jesse Outley, one of two men involved in 11 month old's death back in 2021 was in court today. News Channel 9's Allie Elkins takes a look at how this emotional sentencing took a chaotic turn. An emotional day in court. Judge, at this time, I would ask that the parents of Dior Harris be heard. Desiree Seymour and Sheila Harris. <laughs> The parents of 11-month-old Dior Harris speaking directly to Jesse Outley, the man who pulled the trigger on the gun that killed their baby three years ago. Not holding back any emotion at his sentencing. The judge eventually taking control of the situation. Briefly removing Outley from the courtroom, only for him to come back in with a smile on his face. The judge later speaking directly to Outley. Her mother and father. They, you can't imagine, I can't imagine, I wouldn't want to imagine what they're going through as a result of this. Sentencing Outley 40 years to life, a punishment that still can't make up for the loss of their baby girl. Man, I all we want is justice for our daughter, that's it. In Syracuse, Ali Okins, News Channel 9. Outley is one of two men sentenced in the child's death. The getaway driver, Chavez Ocasio, was sentenced to 15 years in prison. That was back in May.